Hazel. Hazel is 10 years old, and her favorite month is November, because that's her birthday month. She's one of the youngest kids in her classroom, which is kind of annoying sometimes. Hazel has two older sisters and two dads. Hazel loves to do crafts, mazes, and puzzles. Her family always has a big puzzle on the go at the kitchen table. Hazel is a really strong student and is especially good at science. She is always willing to help her classmates with their projects. She isn't one to shy away from standing up for what she believes in. She's the president of the school environmental club and a volunteer beekeeper. And if all of that isn't enough, Hazel also speaks three languages. Hazel lives with a mental disorder called OCD. OCD stands for Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. Everyone has odd or repetitive thoughts from time to time, like when we get a song stuck in our head. But Hazel's OCD is different. The obsessive part is when her brain sends her upsetting thoughts over and over and over again. When this happens, it's really tricky to stop the thoughts. Like, she worries about things being really clean a lot more than most kids do. These sticky thoughts then lead Hazel to spend a lot of her time cleaning things up. This repeated behavior is the compulsion part of OCD. The whole cycle can lead to Hazel feeling worried, frustrated, and embarrassed. She doesn't even like to talk about all the things going on in her brain. For example, OCD will often want Hazel to reorganize the teacher's books at school. Sometimes, she'll even miss recess. If she gets interrupted, she has to start all over again from the very beginning. OCD can even make Hazel feel that if she doesn't do the organizing, something bad will happen. When she does make it out for recess, Hazel is often the rule keeper for all kinds of games. At home, Hazel tidies her room every morning and every evening. And even if her sisters move anything, she gets really upset. Things got so bad that Hazel started taking pictures of her room with a phone, just to make sure none of her stuff had been moved. She couldn't leave the house until she had the pictures. Then, when she was out with her family, she would repeatedly check the pictures on the phone. This is when Hazel's dads realized she really needed some help. They took her to a psychiatrist, who is a special doctor who knows what to do when the brain gets sick. This was the first time Hazel learned that she has OCD. They let Hazel know that she isn't the only kid with OCD, and that there are some really good ways to treat it. The psychiatrist also gave her some medicine and introduced her to a therapist. Through her treatment, Hazel learned a lot of things about OCD. For example, OCD is not just a girl thing. It can happen to anyone. And it's not just about being tidy and clean. Obsessive compulsive disorder can show up in many different ways. These days, Hazel is getting pretty good at recognizing when OCD is likely to make an appearance. Like, when there's a big change in her life. This happened when her best friend moved away. Hazel has some thinking tools that she learned in therapy, and she takes her medication regularly. The tools and the medicine work together, like a team, to turn down the volume on OCD. Nowadays, OCD takes up way less space in Hazel's brain. This leaves more time and energy for puzzles, science experiments, crafts, mazes, school projects, beekeeping, the school environmental club, homework club, practicing French and Spanish, landscape photography, filing tax returns, redecorating our